you are a first time home buyer, congratulations. It is very fun, but can be very stressful. Not today. I'm going to break it down step by step for you. Everything that you need to know in order to get your very first home and get your very first set of keys. The best is yet to come. So make sure you stick around to the end. Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Smith. I'm a realtor in the greater Moncton area servicing New Brunswick. I help families buy and sell in this incredible city. And before we get started, if you'd like a copy of my free home buyer's guide, drop a comment below. I'll be happy to send that off to you. So let's just jump right in. Step number one is to gather your down payment. I know this one's the tough one. However, how much do you actually need? Well, ideally you'd wanna put down 20% on your mortgage. If you don't have that, don't worry. You can put down as little as 5%. Where are you gonna get the money? Well, you can tap into your RSPs and you can also take it as a gift. So step number two is pre-approval. So before you go out house hunting, you need to sit down with a loan officer or mortgage specialist and get your pre-approval in place. This determines how much money you're able to spend, what your mortgage will be, and what your interest rates are going to look like. Now it is in depth. You do have to provide them with a lot of paperwork and a lot of information. But this shows not only your realtor, but it shows your sellers that you're serious and that you have action that you can take if you find a home that you love. Step number three is to work with a realtor. We can negotiate you a great deal. We have your best interests at heart. We can answer all the questions that you have. We have contacts in the city, lenders, appraisers, home inspectors. We're there for you every step of the way. And in most cases, our services are free for the buyer because the seller pays the commission. Step number four is the fun part. This is where you get to start shopping for homes. So with the sheer number of homes, it's a good idea to separate your wants and your needs. Do you want a fixer upper or do you want something that's turnkey? That way you can start to whittle down the homes that you really want to see. Ideally, you'd want to keep this between five and six. Uh, your realtor will set up the viewing appointments more than five or six a day and it gets overwhelming start to forget what you saw in the first house versus the fourth house and it's just a lot to take in step number five make an offer found your dream home well this is the point where you're going to want to make your offer but no matter how hot the market is be sure that you put an offer in that you're comfortable with remember your offer will look particularly good to a seller if you can put down cash you're pre-approved and if you don't have another home that you need to sell in order to buy this one Step number six, get a home inspection. This will be a condition that you have on your offer that's presented to the seller by your realtor. This is the point in the process where the inspector will come into the home that you put the offer on and do a full inspection top to bottom. So things electric, foundation, you name it, they're going to look at it for you. They then set up an appointment with you for about 15 or 20 minutes and they go over the entire report with you. And that's when you can ask any questions that you might have to the inspector and they'll be happy and glad to answer those for you. Sure, some things can go wrong or often fixable and can be worked out as part of the purchase and sale agreement. Step number seven is you're gonna go back to your lender now that you've had a signed purchase and sale agreement and they're going to wanna to conduct a home appraisal. That's when the lender goes in to ensure that the home itself is a good investment and worth the amount of money that you're making the offer for. Step eight, head to closing. Closing day is when you get the keys to your new home and pay all the various parties. That will include your down payment, your closing costs, and the bank will transfer over the rest of the mortgage. Closing costs are often a surprise for first time home buyers, but it is not the down payment and not the deposit. It is additional fees that are payable at the day of closing. And those normally include the lawyer fees, property tax adjustments, title insurance, title transfers, and a few other processing fees. Closing fees can average anywhere from two to 7% of the home price. Step number nine, you get to move into your brand new home. Congratulations. You put in the work, You've done all the steps that you needed to do to get you here today. So now you get to enjoy and celebrate. 